Trigger Bar Philosopher here coming at you with another gun review. This time I'm going to review the new to me Colt Model 70 or Mo Colt Series 70 uh, government model 45 ACP 1911. This gun is the competition series. See it has adjustable sights, a nice uh, highly visible red dot um, or fiber optic front sight, um, blacked out rear sight. Uh, I believe they are Novak uh, style sights. I really enjoy uh, shooting this gun. It is uh, a bit hefty, around 36 ounces, um, but so it really tames the recoil of the 45 ACP um, and stays on target. I do have intentions with this gun to use it in some USPSA uh, type matches. Um, and then really the reason I got this gun and philosophy of use sort of is really just sort of a little bit of a collector's item. Um, I only own one other 1911 um, gun. I also own a 2011, but I own, own one other 1911. It's a Sig Sauer Emperor Scorpion um, Emperor, uh, 1911 in 10 millimeter. This Colt is in 45. I did not have a 45 ACP. I really wanted one, and I figured if you're going to go with a 1911, you have to go with a Colt. Maybe not have to. Uh, but that was at least my thinking, and at least around the budget that I got. You can see uh, the Colt um, is really quite a nice gun. Um, it's got side serrations right at the rear, very traditional, no um, no pick, Picatinny rail, rail or 1913 rail uh, for lights up front. Really sort of streamlined for competition and really in the traditional mold with that Series 70. Uh, type type gun and so that fits various competitions that limit are limited only to series 70 type 1911s um, Let's just take it take it, you know, take a look at various aspects of it um, you know, It's a pretty smooth uh, Cocking operation um, The safety especially coming out is pretty tactile as you can hear that uh, pretty smooth going in tactile coming out um, it's got a very smooth uh, trigger. We'll get the trigger gauge out here in just a second to measure it, but no complaints about that. Just a little bit of minor take up. You can see the reset just a little bit, barely not much. And again, that's why you like 1911, so wouldn't expect anything different from that. Um, it's got a grip safety. I would say it's, there's a little bit of side to side play in the grip safety that, that had me at first worried, but I think it's really fine. Also, I'll notice that um, it's got a little bit of an extension there. I've had no problems making sure that when I come on to it, uh, that's engaged. Um, again, this gun is safe, um, as is this uh, six hour 1911 um, is safe. So all the guns out you know, here are safe. Um, one thing that may miff a little bit of the purists of the 1911, just kind of showing that maybe this is just a little bit lesser of a quality than what you're gonna get when you step in price, just a little bit more. The screws are not timed. Um, little bit of a back and forth play in that in that trigger. Um, so some of the fit and finish, um, again, I would say is good, but not great. I really like uh, though the finish of this gun. I really like um, how it looks. Um, I love how it shoots, it's very accurate. I really wanted, I have problems with my vision a little bit and especially with um, uh, sights, I uh, shooting iron sights, I often have to modify them and push them over. I'm, I'm when I started getting into pistol shooting, I'm actually left-handed. When I started getting into pistol shooting, I found I was right eye dominant. And so I just started shooting right-handed. Being a lefty, and many lefties will, will understand this, I often just go and, and when I'm new to something, um, I'll try what's easiest and, and it turned out it didn't, I didn't really feel any difference between shooting left-handed and right-handed, but I felt like my eye, doing the, the test with my eyes, I was right eye dominant. Well, sure enough, then as I've gotten older, um, it's a, my left eye has become a little bit more dominant. So I get a little bit of weird vision with the um, with shooting right-handed, which is now, of course, very natural to me um, after years of shooting that way. And so I really uh, sometimes have to have my sights very adjustable, otherwise I shoot significantly left of the target. Um, and so uh, that's what I really wanted when I was looking for a competition gun. I was like, well, I need to have something that has adjustable sights. This Colt had that. I really wanted a Colt because of the history and, and having sort of the first uh, uh, use of, of John Moses Browning's patent on the Colt. 
uh, and so they were producing the first 1911s. So I really uh, I'm, was quite excited. I'm gonna roll some range footage and, and just show some shooting of this. It shoots very accurate. Um, you know, nothing spectacular. I think I was about to 10 yards. You can see that most of the shots are, are right on target. I'm not really incredibly proficient of a shooter, um, but I'm accurate enough. So we'll uh, turn over to that range time. Maybe now in, in, in sort of in the final moments, I just really want to do a little bit of a comparison between this gun um, and this six hour um, Emperor Scorpion 1911. Just a, I'll probably end up doing another video on this, but you notice it has the 1913 uh, rail on the bottom here um, that allows you to, to mount a, a weapons matted light. Um, also a big difference with this uh, six hours it has an external extractor if you look over here on this uh, more traditional 1911 it does not have that there are some people that say oh this is terrible and this really isn't a 1911 and I will just say I've had no accuracy issues with this or not accuracy reliability issues with this uh, SIG uh, 1911 in fact it's worked flawlessly I've taken it um, as a personal protection gun with me on some elk hunts in in um, Southern Colorado. Uh, I really uh, enjoy carrying this in a chest rig. It's it's a great platform and, and tames the 10 millimeter round uh, really quite well. So I'll do another review on that in the past, but I'll just note, right, it, there's just a few things on this, like the trigger doesn't feel as sloppy um, as the Colt. Um, this trigger pad feels like there's a little bit, I don't know, more t spring tension or something. It just feels more solid than does this. This feels like it has a lot of play in it. Um, I would just say the, the build quality just feels like a, just a little bit better on this Emperor Scorpion version, which is kind of like the TAC operator, I think, of the, of the SIG uh, line. I, I feel like I got lucky. I bought it about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago now at this point. I just saw it on uh, Sportsman Warehouse um, uh, that it was available for sale and, um, and jumped on it when I saw it because I had not seen the SIG Emperor um, in the past. Um, so I was quite happy with that. I kind of did the same thing with this gun. I saw it was available and jumped on it. Uh, so let's get into a little bit of some of the other, um, just kind of statistics and, you know, taking a look at what we have with this gun. Okay, first off, we're gonna just take a look and see what uh, this thing weighs at. I, I said it was 36 ounces. I think it's right about there. Um, again, with no magazine in, yeah, so 36.51 ounces according to my scale. Let's also just take a look at, at what the uh, uh, trigger pull is. Again, just from feeling it, I, I would say kind of three and a half something pounds like that. It's, it's really light. It's hardly, there's just a little bit, maybe a millimeter, a couple millimeters of take up and then hits that wall and it's just a very crisp uh, trigger pull after that and very short uh, reset. Okay, let's get the uh, trigger gauge out. And see what this is. You gotta make sure the back strap is pressed down, safety is off. Um, so a little bit tricky um, on this uh, Wheeler trigger gauge uh, to make sure that we have everything kind of going in the right direction and that the safeties are engaged. Okay, that comes in right around five pounds. Um, maybe four, over four, four and a three quarters. Let's do another one just to make sure. Um, that seems about right. I said maybe three and a half. It really is short and crisp. It does not feel like a five pound trigger that you might have on a striker fire gun. It's really pretty short and crisp. So let's reset the gauge. Bring it over here. time was showing a six pound one. There's something I was doing wrong with that one. Let's get another one on here because it really does not feel like it's that much. 
Okay, again, the sort of the five pound mark, and I guess that's probably really where it is. I am sure that over time this will wear in. Um, I could do a trigger job as well, I'm sure, and polish some of, of, of the internals up, and that would lighten it up as well, I'm sure, or uh, change out some of the springs. But for me, uh, even for competition, the five pound is, is fine for the level that I shoot at, which is not a great level. Um, so with that, I really want to hear what you all are thinking about this gun. Is this a keeper? Is this something that you would get? Is Colt's brand so tarnished uh, that having and owning a Colt uh, 45 ACP is not worth it to you? Um, what 1911 platforms do you appreciate for this value? So again, around the $1,000 range. Um, as I mentioned before, this uh, Sig Emperor uh, Scorpion was around that same price. May I feel maybe a little bit better quality, but again, not the traditional total Colt. Also, it being in 10 millimeter. Um, but what are your thoughts? Uh, what what models in that price range do you like? I've heard Dan Wesson, um, which maybe is just a little bit more expensive. I know certainly people are going to talk about their Rock Island Armory uh, 1911s that you can get for a little bit cheaper. But just like to hear what, what your preference is and what would you go for at this market. I think this gun is a keeper for me. Um, I really like that it's a Colt. I like the history. I like how it feels when I shoot it. Um, and so uh, hopefully this video was of some use to you and in, in making your decisions when you're building out your gun collection and various options that you have for shooting. Thanks. Bye.